Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 200. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. Hey, in trick number 200, we're going to see an amazing new feature in Excel 2007. It is the new table nomenclature for formulas. Now, um, some people don't like it, so they turn it off. Other people find it absolutely awesome. It's similar in that we use square brackets and stuff like some of what we would do in Access. Now, the first thing is we got to look at tables. We have a data set here, field names, records in rows, and we have to convert it to a table. Now, put one cell somewhere in the data table. You have to have blank spaces all the way around, or the table has to be touching the the rows or the columns headers. One cell and go to insert table. Although I would never do it that way. I would do it the keyboard way. Control T. It's guessed right because I have the data set up correctly. Uh, no blank rows or columns in between the data. My table has headers so I click OK. Now what it does is it um, gives us a whole bunch of cool drop downs for sorting and filtering with a bunch of new f amazing filters and all sorts of things. But we're not going to use that aspect of the table. We're going to see how it gets a name and then creating formulas we can use this table nomenclature. The first thing we want to look at is this new toolbar, Table Tools and Design. I want to come over here and I want to name the table. I can do that because my cursor is in that uh, in a, somewhere in the table. I'm going to name it DT and then hit enter. Now, uh, in, if you have this table um, and you uh, do a function, let's just uh, look at a quick example here before we go to the bulk of this video, count out, and you highlight a column, it should show you that the name of that column, oh, but oh, wait a second, it should show us the table nomenclature, but it doesn't. That looks like a regular cell reference. Here's the reason why. You either in uh, options, I'm going to click escape here, either in options, I click on that uh, office button, Excel options. I go down to formulas. You either have this, use table names and formula turned off, which some people do because they don't like this new feature. Or you're using a 2007 extension. It won't let you do it. Now you can type them in, but I do want to show you um, what will happen if we save this as a XLM, XLSX or XLSM. So I'm going to save as. So I've saved this as, and now it's .xlsm, and I open it back up. Now if we do counter, counter, and highlight this whole column, it gives us our table nomenclature. The way it works is it goes table names and then some field in square brackets. Kind of looks like access. Now I'm going to click Escape because I want to continue in uh, uh, .xls form. So when I save it, everyone at YouTube, the people that have Excel 2007 and 2000, and the ones that have Excel 2003 will be able to uh, do this, but that's what it looks like uh, by default when you highlight it in the new uh, file extension. All right, um, so let's go ahead and see how this works. I'm going to do my counter, and I'm going to do some type in here, DT. Now, what happens when you type DT? Uh, it's showing you that little symbol means it knows it's a table. As soon as you type a square bracket like this. Uh, it gives you a drop down. In an earlier video, I did uh, just a few of these. I want to show you every single one of these and show you how these work here. Now, we're going to start with all. And all means it will count everything the headers, the um, uh, data. It'll not count that one because it's blank. Even if it has a total role, which we'll add later, it will count that. I'm going to um, then put a, another closed square bracket. And then I'm going to hit Enter or control enter there. So it's counting 38. Now, I want to add a totals row because um, just like in subtotals and pivot tables, there's um, or subtotals, you have a subtotal function. It'll add a subtotal function to the bottom. I'm going to go to design and under uh, table style options, I'm going to say total row. Ooh, yuck. Look at that. It's got, I messed up the formatting here. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to get rid of all the formatting. And then I'm going to add a style. I'm going to go up to Design and Quick Styles and uh, say Add That. <coughs> so there it is, uh, the subtotal function uh, right there. 
Uh, and how do you know what the subtotal function is? You know, most of us get this and we're like, what is that, 109, 103? Actually, if you click on the f of x with your cursor there, you can come up here and you just got to go to help, right? Because if you click right here, it, uh, or I mean, you click right here, it doesn't tell you exactly what it is. But if you go to help, it tells you exactly what it is. This is the, the trick for subtotals <coughs> function. And there it is. There's a list down here that gives you... Uh, Includes hidden values, ignore hidden value. One is average, two is count, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 109 is sum. That's the one that comes up by default. And there it is. There's your list of 11 functions. Same 11 functions that we see in subtotals, for example. I'm going to close that help, click cancel. <coughs> what we're noticing here is the all went up by two because now it's counting this label and the totals. Now let's uh, count just the data. <coughs> Notice I got rid of my date there. I better add that back in. Let's do it. Um, count, I'll put my DT and square brackets. And this list pops up. And now I want to look at this data. It'll count just the data, which means all of the, the records, right? I keep hitting that uh, square bracket. So now it'll count just the guts of the table. 35. If we were to put something here, it will go up to 36, 41. I'm going to keep that blank. All right, how about the header? Sometimes we want to count how many fields there are, right? So we uh, put this in, and we go to headers. So the advantage to that is you could be on a, a different sheet, which we'll see how to do in a moment, and you forget how many fields you have. But boom, there it is with this new table nomenclature. Three. Total, that means uh, how many things are down here. Let's do count up. And I'm going to do the totals right here. Again, we're using counta. So we're just using counta to see all these different aspects. Uh, let's go to uh, this row. This row, what do you think this row does? Of course, it counts whatever's in this row. One, two. So it'll give us two things. And square bracket. If I uh, fill that in, then of course it says uh, three. Now, this one seems odd. When would you use this? You use this when you actually have a column that has formulas and uh, it'll put that in so it'll say whatever from this row. Alright let's count the dates which means we're going to use fields here. So this and I'll count dates. Right. Oh dates right here right at the top. Square bracket and it counts just how many dates there are. Alright let's do sales rep sales rep and it should give me 11 oops what did I do I forgot my square bracket and um, so we did count dates uh, we want to count uh, well I don't know why we're doing that doing that one we'll count if let's do one count if we did a bunch of count ifs in an earlier video count if and the range I want to count is I'm gonna say DT square bracket and I'm going to say sales rep. Notice you can also, because of this drop down in 2007, down arrow and then tab. I'm going to close square brackets. Count if what? The criteria, I'll do comma. And I'll do uh, sales rep 1, end quote. Close parentheses. And so you can use it in functions also. And this updates. This totally updates. If you start adding new records, it will update too. Even if you don't use this table nomenclature, it will update. Now the last thing is if we go to another sheet, what's so nice is you can just build your formulas on the other sheet without ever touching that uh, data set. So DT square bracket, and then it knows. We want sales rep, so I'll click this. And close square bracket, comma, one to my left. Control Enter and then copy it down. So um, that's a little bit about this new table nomenclature for formulas. All right, see you next trick.